What is up everyone? Welcome back to the show today. My name is John Moore and well in today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for you guys. This is a kind of video I do every now and then just a little shaving video just showing off some of the different uh, supplies and stuff that I use for shaving and sort of showing off my techniques and stuff. So today I'm going to be doing a little video on shaving, getting a close shave with sensitive skin. I have very sensitive skin and I'm very prone to ingrown hairs. So that is uh, that's something I have to deal with especially around my neck. I get these little pimply bumps and it looks like I have pimples, but they're actually just ingrown hair. So it, it, there's a technique you can use to get a really close shave and not get ingrown hairs that doesn't involve going against the grain. I'm going to show you guys that today. So let's go ahead and uh, first off, soak up my face a little bit. Good it, wait a <laughs> Sounds like I'm drowning already. Um, it's best to do this straight out of the shower. I just got out of the shower, but you know it took long enough to set up that my beard's dried back out. I've tried to keep it a little bit wet in the process of setting up, but probably just gonna have to soak it for a minute, and uh, I'll get back in. I'll get back with you in just a second. All right, so I've let my beard soak for a minute, and we're ready to start working up a lather here. I'm just gonna pour off the extra little bit of uh, water out of the mug. I'm just gonna use the water that's in my brush. I'm just gonna work up a work up a lather here. I like using these mugs. I'm gonna take my razor out of there so it's not not clanking around. And it doesn't take long to work up a lather. And right there, we've got a we've got a lather. I like a nice wet lather. Let's see how it's doing. I'm just gonna pull up a mirror here. And let's do a little more of that with just a touch a touch more water in it. A little more than that. I like a nice wet lather. When I started off, I liked a dry lather, but as I got into it and learned how to lather, I started gravitating towards a, a more of a thinner lather and just whipping it up into a nice thick one. Okay, now, now that we're all decorated up like Santa Claus here, take a razor. This razor I'm gonna be using today is an Edwin Jagger. I really like this razor. You guys have seen me use this razor before and I'm gonna be using in this some Dorco ST301s Platinums. Now, I, I like these blades because they're not they're not a super sharp blade and they're good for sensitive skin. I shave with Astra's, I like Astra's, but if I'm gonna be doing multiple passes, these are a little bit easier on my skin, okay? So, uh, I, I tend to like these and these are sort of my daily drivers. All right, let's get right into it here. I'm gonna start going down with the grain from the sideburns all the way down to where the direction of the hair starts to change at the bottom of the neck. I'm not gonna go against the grain at any point. And you can see just how easy, where I've soaked my beard, how easy this is, uh, how easy this comes off. And this is a double-edged razor. We've got two edges to work with. I've not, not even used the other side yet. That's uh, one of the nice things about this little Edwin Jagger. It just, it's its a little bit aggressive, but not much. It's still, I would call it a mild razor, but it's more aggressive than, say, your Gillette Super Speeds. So you can actually get a full shave out of this. This is a couple days growth. You can get a full shave out of this thing without even having to rinse the thing out. So we'll go ahead and just drop that off here and uh, swish this around to sort of clean it off. Swish the razor around in the water to clean it off a little bit. Get her somewhat clean at least. Okay. Get the soap off of it. One thing I wish I'd gotten is I wish I'd gotten the barber pole handle or the textured grip instead of the smooth one. All right, so we're ready for our second pass. Now this is where the magic's really gonna happen here. We're gonna get a little bit of water back in here again, just sort of wet our lather again. We're gonna go in for a second pass. Let's lather up again. All right, now what we're gonna do, the difference in this pass is, going, is we're gonna be going across the grain. Now you can pull your skin tight if you can manage to get a grip on your skin, but typically you can sort of, with a little bit of practice, you can sort of mm, 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 your face and sort of pull your skin tight a little bit. Now how I'm gonna do this and how I'd recommend you do this is if you wanna get a really close shave that'll last all day, you're gonna wanna go this direction, okay? Not this direction, because you'll still be going mostly with the grain in this direction. Your hair grows slightly forward, it grows down and forward. So if we go backwards, we're going just ever so slightly against the grain, but we're not actually going against the grain and cutting that hair off below the skin. So we're not gonna get ingrown hairs. What this will do is this will reduce those little sharp edges. You know, when the razor cuts down on the hair, it creates this little sharp jagged point 
on the end of your hair that's real prickly and you can feel it and it's very uncomfortable. Uh, but also, it'll, uh, it'll just get the hair a little bit closer without it going under the skin. You'll get it about as close as you can and you shouldn't have any ingrown hairs from this, hopefully. So, let's go ahead and uh, go against the grain this way or go across the grain. So we'll start off right here. I'm gonna start at the mustache. And right here, I'm gonna switch. All right, and once again, we're just gonna stay, at this point, the hair starts growing this way at the mustache. So we're gonna be going in like this. And same thing for the goatee, it starts growing out this way. So we have a, you have to kind of know how your hair grows. Shave in towards the middle. All right. Then we're going to start working back again on this side. Then we're going to come under here. And I tend to just, because 5 o'clock shadow tends to not show itself very much under the chin and around the neck area, it's mostly around the, uh, it's mostly on the chin and on the mustache. That's really where I give a lot of attention to. And sometimes back here around the, around the sideburns. So we'll go ahead. I'll just do a regular shave, just a second pass. Over here. And uh, I did just I did just about so good of a job on that first pass that it's really not taking that much off now. Maybe a little bit right here I can go sideways on. So for the final step, what we want to do, we're just going to take a little bit of soap here, wet our hand, get a little bit of lather on that hand, and just sort of rub it all over your face and feel. You'll feel where where you missed because once again going like a circle and I can feel a, there's a little bit I need right there. All right, that's smooth. Spot right there. All right, that's smooth. And this will get you about as close as you can get without going under under the skin and getting in, you know, without your hair is going under the skin and giving you an ingrown hair. And this is just sort of that post-shave cleanup. And now let's focus on the mustache and we'll wrap it up. Get a little bit right there. And you can kind of tell which direction you need to go to get it. Just nicked myself, I believe. I'm probably gonna have a little bleeder right there. I've got a mole on my face. So, might bleed a little bit there. Hopefully not. All right. All right, folks, there you go. Yeah, there's a little bit of little bit of blood there. So let me get this washed off real quick. Let me drop this in my water bowl here. I'm just gonna rinse off. This is where a, where a styptic pen, styptic pen comes in handy. So if you cut yourself while shaving and you don't have a styptic pen, there's one little trick you can use and that is to take a little bit of toilet paper and you can tear a little piece off and just place it right on the cut, hold it there and let it soak up some of that blood. And what it'll do is it'll clot. The toilet paper sort of absorbs the blood and it allows it to dry out really quickly and it creates a quick little clot. But what we can do instead, since I have this, and if you're shaving, you should hopefully have one of these too, is a styptic pen. And this is made out of alum salts. I think this is a Panade, Panade brand one. I got a little bit of toilet paper stuck on here. It's gonna be a little bit of, little bit of blood here for just a second, but we're gonna take that and dip that in water and it's gonna sting like the devil. We're gonna take it, and those salts are an astringent. And they will, and we just rub it right over that, and they'll just cause those little veins to constrict right up. Let's grind that off. Okay, and that looks like the bleeding is stopped. So, yep, we're good to go. All right, so these little things, these little things are, uh, it's a really, really good idea to have these if you're doing any shaving or much shaving, because they just, those little nicks, hopefully they're not happening too often, but when they do happen, especially for me, trying to do this with a little mirror, I don't usually do that. Uh, it makes it a little more, a little easier to happen. Now, if you guys don't have one of these styptic pens, you should really consider getting one because especially if you have moles on your face or anything like that, those are very dense with a lot of veins. They're just like clusters of veins. So if you cut yourself, you will bleed for a long time and you will bleed a lot. So uh, these things are really good at stopping it and they'll stop it in just a few seconds. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish the shave off. I'm gonna be finishing it with just a little bit of aqua velva. You can use whatever it is you want, but in this case, I'm using aqua velva. I really like the scent. It's inexpensive, it's very inexpensive. Uh, you get it at drugstores, dollar stores, wherever it is, but it's 
It's a reputable brand and it's got a nice cooling sensation. I don't like, I don't like non-mentholated aftershaves. I like all my aftershaves. They gotta be mentholated. I just don't like that hot burn. I don't mind a sting and they have a bit of a sting, but that burn that you get from a non-mentholated aftershave like Old Spice, I'm not into it. I like a mentholated cool feeling. So that is the shave done. So anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I had a lot of fun making it for you guys. And I think the results speak for themselves. Now, you're always gonna have, is if you have hair growth like what I have, you're always gonna have a little bit of shadow. And that's just because if you're like me, you've got really dense growth and it's it's, it's a mixture of coarse hair and the coarse hair really doesn't show through as much as the really dense growth, even though it's finer, like in the mustache area and around the chin and down in this area. So there's always gonna be a little bit of that poking through. But you know, this gets you really close and it's real smooth. It's about as smooth as a baby's bottom. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna let me know, you can drop it a like down below or let me know in a comment. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Later.